Hi guys, today I am going to explain few Informatica cloud interview questions. So the first one is what is the difference between Informatica power center and Informatica cloud? And the second one is where does the metadata get stored in Informatica cloud? And third one is what is the difference between a union transformation in Informatica cloud versus Informatica power center? And the fourth one is explain dynamic linking. And fifth one is what system variables are available in IACS to perform incremental loading. And sixth one is how to pass data from one mapping to other in Informatica cloud data integration. The first question is what is the difference between Informatica Power Center and Informatica Cloud? So the answer is Informatica in Intelligent Cloud Services, nothing but IACS, is a cloud based integration platform, which is nothing but IPaaS. IACS helps you to integrate, synchronize all data and applications residing on your on-premise and cloud environments. But when it's coming to Power Center, it only supports on-premise environment applications. IACS provides similar functionality as Power Center but in a better way and you can access via the internet. Hence. In IACS, there is no need to install any client applications on your personal computer or server. All the supported applications can be accessed from the browser and the task can be developed through browser UI. If you buy the license, then uh, Informatica gives you the credentials. So using that credentials, you can directly go to the Informatica URL and uh, you can log in through browser and you can develop your code. But in Power Center, the client applications needs to be installed on your server. In IACS, we can request the features based on our usage. Like if you use only SQL Server as your source and target, you can get the license to create these connections only, not for all. Or if you if you need like a file watcher job then you can procure only the file watcher license like this based on your um, usage like your requirement you are going to procure the license for the particular features but in power center you need to procure the license based on the addition irrespective of whether you use a certain future or not the second question is where does the metadata get stored in informatica cloud so all the metadata gets stored in Informatica Cloud Repository in IACS. Unlike Power Center, all the information in Informatica Cloud is stored on the server maintained by the Informatica and the user does not have an access to the repository database. Hence, it is not possible to use any SQL query on metadata tables to retrieve the information like Informatica Power Center. For example, uh, suppose I have one connection, I want to replace that connection with other connection, like uh, my database is going to change. So at the time, normally in Power Center, uh, we can write one query to get the information like that connection where we have used, in which mappings we have used, uh, which sessions we have used. But here, like uh, in, in IACS, uh, we, we cannot do like that because uh, everything like it is going to store in Informatica repository and that repository is going to maintain by Informatica. So normally user does not have an access to uh, Informatica repository in IACS. So the various metadata information that gets stored in IACS repository includes like uh, source and target metadata and connection information and mappings, schedules and logging and monitoring information, everything like it is stored, it is going to store in IACS repository. And the third question is what is the difference between a union transformation in Informatica Cloud and uh, in Informatica Power Center? Like in, in, in Informatica Power Center and also earlier versions of Informatica Cloud, the union transformation allows only two groups to define in it. 
uh, hence if three uh, different source groups needs to be mapped to the target then the user must first create uh, a union for two groups first uh, and then whatever the outcome is uh, coming from that first union we are going to uh, we are going to union with the uh, group with another union uh, union two so we need two unions if we have three groups of data uh, to uh, to you unite and in latest version uh, informatica cloud uh, it is supporting multiple groups so all the input groups can be handled in a single union transformation and the fourth question is explain dynamic linking so informatica cloud enables us to establish a target file at runtime uh, we can use this feature only in mappings in target we can select the uh, create new uh, at runtime option so we can choose a static file name that can be displaced um, with the uh, with a new file whenever the mapping operates with the same name uh, we can also create a dynamic file name such as uh, that whenever such that whenever the mapping runs uh, we can create a file with the new name and the fifth question is what is what is what system variables are available in iacs to perform incremental loading so normally if you want to perform the incremental loading in power center you need to you need to um, calculate the run time like a, a last run last successful run or you need to uh, calculate manually like uh, what is the last run date and everything uh, so here uh, here like it it is going to provide uh, two uh, system variables uh, that is like a uh, uh, last run time and uh, last run date so it returns the last time when the task runs successfully and the last run date returns only the last date on which the task uh, runs successfully so these values are uh, uh, stored in informatica cloud server and uh, uh, cl our cloud repository and it is not possible to override the values of these parameters these parameters only stores the data date time value in um, uh, utc time zone and the sixth question is how to pass data from one mapping to other in informatica cloud integration so the data can be passed from one mapping to other mapping informatica cloud uh, through a task flow using parameters so the mapping task first mapping task which passes the data should have an in out parameter defined using set variable functions so this uh, normally uh, we can we can uh, use this set variable function in expression level uh, to uh, assign the value to the uh, parameter and then uh, in second mapping uh, task which receives the data uh, should either have an input parameter or in out parameter defined in mapping to read the data passed from uh, upstream task 